Hi, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Very happy you are here. Today is a Plishka. This is a Plishka for a company. Um, they actually just, uh, it's just two of their plugins I'm going to look at. They have more plugins than that. They're relatively new. I didn't know about these guys until they actually contacted me and said, hey, we have plugins I think you'd be interested in reviewing and checking out and using. And if you're interested, we will send you copies. And if you like them, uh, please consider doing a video. So they sent them. Uh, I first went to the website and checked them out and I went, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I want that. And so then uh, they sent them to me. And I have been playing with them and been quite blown away uh, by both of them. So this is a company called Accusonus. And here are their products we're going to look at. Regroover takes any wave audio file and chops it by frequency into separate tracks that you can then manipulate in some just... Whoever thought of this deserves some sort of an award just for that because it's really cool. Uh, I'm not going to do an owner's manual type button for button. I hate those. And they've done that down here at the bottom. Scroll down to the bottom and they have those types of videos. And those, I my eyes gloss over and I forget half of what somebody's talking about because I'm not seeing it in action. So I'm going to show you it in action to impress the crap out of you. And then you can learn about it. It's very easy to use, very powerful. The other product that they sent to me is Beatformer. This is kind of like something that lets you... Ableton Live added something similar to this where it's optimized and aimed mainly at percussion. You can put this on all sorts of things and it does crazy things. But percussion audio that you want to sweeten or screw up, <laughs> as you will see here shortly. So Accusonus is who we're going to be looking at. Now, this video is sponsored by my website. Because we're going to be using actually Repro right here. This is the library that we're going to be using for the music in this demo. I did a library. It's 128 patches, 64 for Repro 5 and 64 for Repro 1. We're actually just going to play with Repro 1. And I have three parts, but I'm only going to play one part to start with. Check this out. This is one patch, one note. And I need some tea. Get the idea. Then on top of this, I have super macho drums playing, kick, snare, and hat. I'm using a Moomaton kit, which is totally out of the norm, because I want to show you how you can do some crazy stuff with it. So, and I have other parts. Here's two other parts from Repro, so we could. That's just Repro one and my patches. Love it. Okay. okay, so we're going to take this groove and let's sweeten it up. I have added three beat formers already to each of the separated out tracks. So I used Contact 5 and I used the Mubaton kit, which... All sorts of Mubaton sounds. We're going to be using this snare, this kick and this hat. See the notes down here? You can see them playing, right? And I could manipulate them here. I could, I could lo-fi this and do things like that, but I'm gonna do some things differently. I'm gonna use just beat former. Check this out. So, um, oh, well, just to be clear, so contact five, I've set it up so it's in eight stereo, eight mono, multi outputs. I have gone into Contact 5. I just did a video recently showing you how to do this if you don't know how and set up the outputs that I have for stereo outputs. So inside of Super Macho Drums, let's have the outputs picture go away. Right here, you can see I have four outputs available now. There's that's depending on what your output configuration set up and saved inside of Contact 5. That's what output options you get right here for each drum sound. So I could take any sound and send this to any output. It's it's very easy to use. This this drum interface is the fastest, coolest on the planet. Everybody flips out once they play with this if they haven't before because you can select anything, change envelopes, filters, pitch EG, 
there's 10 different effects, two convolution reverbs per sample that you can have different mixes and balances and filters and all sorts of stuff going to. So you can mess up a kit really easy. But we're not going to do the messing up in here. We're going to use Beat Former. So let's look at the snare to start with. So here's our groove. Hello, groove. Now let's just solo this. Snare. And I'm going to play with punch. And immediately you can tell. Squash. I could make this so in the mix, you've lost the ambience. Or go the opposite. Make this be the ambience that you would use on top of another snare. There's mid side as well as left and right. So you can Get it in your face really dry. Say we want something crazy like that for the snare. Let's go to the kick. There's some blow in, punch. A little more air. And I want the split to be lower. Okay, so now, now let's call up the hi-hats and play with that. So we've got the kick sweetened. Here's without it. Here's without the snare sweetening. <laughs> and then the hi-hats, we're going to also play with some. Oh, that's a kick. So here's hi-hats. We can bring up the ambience. You might not have noticed. just a little bit of ambience in that hi-hat, I could bring it up to where it's swimming. <laughs> bring up the mid-side. So you could do that to that. So you can use it for subtle sweetening on the kick, I did more subtle stuff. If, if we listen just to kick. I'm just sweetening. The low wind is more solid. I didn't go too crazy with this. More punch. That's really killing, you know? Perfect. So, we could take this and turn it into this. Let's get the snare back a little bit. Get a little ambience. That's cool. I like that. So as you can see, it's rather extreme, but the quality is really high, really impressive. Okay, so it's time to dig into Regroover Pro. This is, there's, a, there's two versions. There's a more simplified, there, you can see the comparison on the website, accusonus.com, you see on the screen. Go there, you can see what the two uh, versions uh, give you. I'm really glad they gave me the Pro version to work with because it is super badass what it can do. So here's the thing, I've got the groove playing. And I'm gonna now mute it, cause I like to do that. And I'm gonna call in a drum loop right here. But instead of playing it here where it's out of tempo, let's see if we like unmute this, you can hear. There, this is 125 and the tempo is 129. Um, I could change the tempo of my song, but that's not the point. Let's mute this, go over here to Regroover Pro and take this file and just drag it here. And there it is.
Now, you see four tracks here because it actually took that loop and split it into four frequency dependent tracks. So if I play the loop, let's turn off these three tracks. That's one, two, three, and four. So it's pulled it into four. And if I wanted to, I could go over here and say, nah, do six. Okay, boom. Now it's six tracks. That loop that you hear is actually six components. So you could find just the components you want. Maybe you don't want that, that's kind of muddy. So you could have this whole thing playing without that and you'd probably have a cleaner, <laughs> let's see what it sounds like. That probably sound better with your bass and with a kick drum and stuff because you got rid of the mud. So that alone right there, it's like, dang, what the heck did you just do? I, I just pulled out the mud, so. Now I could have this. Thank you very much. You know, I mean, got rid of the mud just by muting one of the tracks. But the thing that's really fun is that, let's, let's mute all these guys again. You have each of these tracks to look at and there's some really crazy things you can do. If you notice over here, there are four different effects. These are independent for each of these six tracks, my friend. Okay, so I'm gonna call just this track right here. Let's go over here. Isn't that cool by itself? Even maybe just using just that one component in this mix is gonna be really cool. Let's check it out. Well, it's cool, but I can make it cleaner. Like, let's take this and um, there's gate, EQ, compression, saturation for each of these six lanes. So, or tracks, or however you wanna call it. So, let's go to this and turn on the gate and bring up the threshold. So I want to be, that's better. Maybe this one here, I want to saturate it. More transients. A little more drive. What about this one? Maybe this one here, I don't want it to have the second half. You can see that there's these green arrows here. So we can like... So... You know that downbeat? Maybe I don't want that. There's this actually eraser tool right here. If I just want to click, and I think if I hold down the option key, I can choose... I want it to split. And so now when I hit split, it will reanalyze and will... Boom, mute them. What if I wanted to take this part, let's, let's turn off the split tool. What if I wanted to drag this over here? What does this do? It pulls it out to uh, an expansion drum kit. So I could actually pull out additional sounds so if I want, I'm gonna drag right here and I'm gonna drag this to D. Oh, we got it. Um, drag right here when you see the waveform to D. So, and then what you can do, you hit the editor. And for this one, I can see that I got the sample start. So I can click right here to change my sample start. And what's crazy about this It is storing snippets from these different audio lanes to this makeup drum kit. And if I was to go back and be playing this, and let's say we take another groove and just drag it over here and bam. And maybe I like this little poppy thing. If I drag this over here, that's now. The, the sounds can come from any loop. It doesn't have to be from one loop. So 
I could say I want this one here to be analyzed. Maybe I like this sound here and let's make it be a little bit longer and drag that to E. And I like this kick, so let's have this kick and drag this so that it's to here and put that on F. I don't like the end of that, so we go over here to the editor. Here's the end. So you can build a frequency dependent components to make a complete drum kit with 16 samples. And then you can go export and you can export the expansion kit pads as independent samples. So for making new drum samples that have really cool qualities to them, boom, very easy. Um, there's other things here that are just really crazy. So let's take this loop here. Let's play it. Now this is one of those where you might want to look to see which frequency Now that might sound a little weird, but let's put that with the bass and with our Super Macho drums playing. And again, I have EQ so I could go to this lane and I could like maybe not make it quite such a thin sound. Go to saturation, bump up the transients. So I'm finding components from existing wave files that while the normal loop, it's gonna sound a little different because I've added the EQ and stuff. I'm using just a piece of it. I mean, that's so freaking cool. Maybe I don't like this beginning part right here. So you turn on your mute and hold down option and I think click. And I wanna get rid of it here too. And say, analyze. So reanalyze it. I like, I like right here, this little bump bump. So let's move the start to there so that it will play it. Maybe I want to tighten the transients on that. So go to saturation, turn this on transients. What about this one? Now that's dirty, muddy stuff. Cool. So that's the power of this, is to take existing loops from all over the place. In fact, let's do this. Let's go up here, double click, so it gives me another one, and I say another regroover. Uh, where is it? So now this is an instrument. So you go to your audio instruments, and there it is, regroover pro. And, f and for this one, I'm actually going to transfer in something that has pitch to it to play with. So let's play it. <laughs> these off and check this out this one right here and I don't want it to hit that last part so let's just have it repeat this part And then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to do a really weird thing where I have this just looping radically right here. Oh, I got to turn it off. Maybe this one. And 
this is of course fully automatable. So I could go over here, I could turn on latch. <laughs> Let's have fun for a minute. And then on top of that, Now, on top of this, check this out. Put this to read. Um, if I wanted to, I could go back to that first one that I was working on, remember? I had pulled out samples that are on the keyboard to play. So let's play with these two samples right here. I could sequence. do one more regroover. Are you ready? Um, and let's have it do like uh, something. Let's see here. So we got to say, get me regroover pro. Uh, let's say I want it to let's play maybe this one. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I picked out some good loops. Um, so I'm going to do something kind of different instead, because here, check this out. Let's solo this for a second. Cause again, it's component and we're going to actually pull it into six. So we say split it by six says, yes, let's there. Now my microphone is solo too. So here it is. Okay. Check this out. Let's mix it up by doing some weird off-tempo things. So we have this playing there, have this playing on an off, have this playing like somewhere like there. By all this stuff, we're going to get it. It's going to be like really crazy timing. So here, check it out. <laughs> the things you could do with this are just it's really, really exciting. So Regroover Pro is definitely a plishka. You should know about this. If you have loops and you wish you had places you could take and drag over something, have it analyze it, and then just turn off everything except one component of the sound and use it. of how to use this. One last thing to show you that's even more mind-blowing is if you want, you can go to Regroover and tell it instead to be multi-output and it's 16 stereo outputs. So you could split this into six different frequency controlled bands. Each band can be sent to its own output. So my friends, you could process with any effects in your system just one frequency band of this. Also, every one of these pads, when you've pulled out each one of these to be a, a sound, like if we go up to the regroover on this track here, each one of these, if you look at them, has an output assignment. So you can have, <laughs> you can have these six tracks going to separate outputs, plus you can have uh, any of these 16 samples that you've dragged over from who knows where. And it doesn't have to just be... <laughs> Uh, it's fun. You can pull stuff from instrument loops, from bass, from guitar, all sorts of things. It will frequency split anything. It's crazy. So I hope that gets you uh, the juices flowing on some fun things you can do with this. It's really, really fun to play with. On top of that, um, you have the ability to take something like, uh, let's go to this last track. 
and uh, let's have it play everything. So let's make sure that we have this. Oh, we need to have this big drum loop playing again and turn it down. You can also double time it or half time with a button click. So now it's. Not only that, but these sounds. Now, if you go over here and you drag to make these longer and stuff like that, when you drag this over to these uh, expansion kits, they are nice and slowed down as well. So. Where's the snare? I think this is the snare right here for the most part. So we could take this whole thing and make this E. And I think this is the other component of the snare. So you could pull this out and put it to F. So when you play E and F. <laughs> And this together, put that to G. So I'm gonna play all. Have this go to G. So you can pull things out, put them to separate tracks, envelope them. You could even go over here and reverse them if you so desire to. And again, you have sample start, sample in, so you could break this sooner up. So it's it's insane. It's an insane place to be like a creative playground with taking existing loops and turning them into components and then doing things to the components on just crazy levels. Lots of fun, okay? Plishkas, you should know about both of these, so now you do.